Hey, um, so it's been a while since I've been on um, camera. I did a video on things to do that would basically um, allow you to get, um, well, what I did essentially the semester when I did really bad. Um, to be kind of upfront, I took um, foundations in computer science, the foundations lab in logic and design, and I got D, a D in logic and design and a D plus in foundations and a C plus in the lab. That was really bad. It did really, really bad. Um, and so I wanted to kind of create a series here um, where I could help people in just a number of things like in school that you can do to like get good grades to get the best grades for you. That may be straight A's, that may just be like, um, just, you know, the 3.0, 3.5, but basically doing your best. And if you do your best, you're basically going to be guaranteed, you know, you know, 3.0 and up. Anything below a 3.0, honestly, especially if you're going to graduate school, does not cut it. If you're attending school and you're being attentive, and you're prioritizing it, you're going to do well. And that I'm just going to talk about certain things that can be done so that you can improve your grades and improve your outcomes in university. One, I have a list here. So one is to prioritize. Now, prioritize come in many forms. Like, And this will be kind of for those who find school difficult, not for those who have all the resources and just are lazy. I need a pep talk uh, there are so many videos out there about like that so this is for people who find it difficult you need to prioritize you need to say that university is priority to you it's priority over family and friends it's priority over you having fun it's priority over um, work it's priority over everything because it kind of is your job right so what I mean by that not to you know, kind of say all those other things aren't important. It's to say that if you're going to school, it's for an expressed purpose. It's to better your chances, to better your opportunities and the opportunities of your family members. So if you're not doing that, then you need to make a decision whether you're going to do school or if you're not going to do school. Because if you don't do well in school, you probably have already kind of affected your chances of getting the best possible positions. In this case, you're competing with other students. And if you're not getting the 3.0 and above and doing the things to excel in your education, employers are going to see that, other people are going to see that, and they don't necessarily see the time and attention you're spending with family members. So if family members and friends and other things are more important than university for you, um, even though you would love the opportunity to advance yourself, but you won't shortchange your family and friends in order to do that, you can go part time. However, no matter what time percentage you're going in university, you need to make sure that the, the whether it's one class, two classes, or three or uh, five classes, that the class amount that you choose, you spend all that time doing that. For instance, if you're just taking, if you're going part time, let's just say for the sake of simplicity, you're taking two classes, you need to make sure you dedicate another enough time for those two classes. So you need to take out the time that you need to spend for those two classes. Let's say usually it's about, um, let's say there are three credit courses and that's going to be, um, that's, what is that, uh, six credits, six times two, that's about, um, uh 12 credits um so 12 plus 6 that's 18 hours that you have to kind of give to school in order to kind of be well-rounded and, and get the best grades the best grades unless you have some kind of mental um, block or something like that you should be getting the best grades if you put in all that time anywhere between six to eight hours because some people are so efficient that they don't have to do any time outside of um, class any work outside of class so they do all their work in class all their preparations in class so the six credit the um, six hours that they spent in class they're doing all their work in class so they don't have to do additional work outside of class so it's six to um, 18 hours that you would have to um, give to your university if you can do that if you can give those six to 18 hours then the rest of the time you can spend doing anything else you want to do spending time with 
time with friends and family, um, working to pay the bills and all that other stuff. That's how you should think of university. The second thing is do the work. You want to make sure you're not fooling yourself and that you're actually doing the work. So um, if you have homework, do homework. If you're given a project, immediately start whatever portion of the project that you can start and break it up so that you um, know when it, you're going to be done and that you're making progress on that project. Do not wait for information from the um, professor. Do not wait for the professor to clarify things from you. You are at in university. It's not the, the professor's job really to teach you the information. They need to present the information. They've done that. They've done the lectures, even if it's word per word from the book that they told you to purchase. They've done their duty. They're getting paid regardless. Do not waste your time you know, write it on rate my professor, but don't waste your time thinking that the professor isn't helping you because they're not teaching you. You need to go and look at different material online, videos, read different textbooks on the material that you're studying. Um, if there's another professor that's known to be better, contact them, try to get more information, but do not wait for your professor to spoon food you, spoon feed you. And because they didn't spoon feed you, somehow that's their fault and not entirely your fault that will not cut it in university it just is not no one is going to have any sympathy trust me i failed classes because of this this is just like what it is this is the, the environment of university um get help and see if the school will customize for you now what i mean by this is when you are working on homework problems, when you are stuck with those homework problems or your project and, or there are other things you're having difficulty with, personal things like maybe you don't have a place to live, maybe um, you're having issues with your family, maybe someone in your family passed away, immediately contact the university, um, speak to your professors, make sure that they know what's going on as soon as you know what's going on. If you can't study because you're sleeping on the side of the bridge or something, under a bridge, I'm being serious here, make sure your professors know what's going on and that your grades were good before that happened. And when that happened, that's when your grades started tumbling because you know of that situation. But hopefully you can speak to the professor or other entities at the university so that they know and can help you or at least can understand what happened and that some kind of um, kind of resolution can be resolved and that will help you out in the future. Another thing is that um, if you need tutoring but the tutoring is only done during the daytime and you work or only done during times where you're not available, like there's just no way, like, you know, you just can't do that time frame. See if they can customize that for you and have like online tutoring sessions during time frames that you can seek out help. Contact a tutor and see if they will, you know, help you out outside hours or that that tutor can, you know, have more freedom to tutor you and that they can be compensated for that time. Don't think that just because the university has something in a particular format, that that's the only format that will be able to benefit you. And of course, make sure that you are actually capable of, you know, like, meeting up with tutors and getting that additional study time. Make sure that that's a possibility. Maybe if you're doing well enough in the course and you don't need to actually sit and lecture, you know, barter that time. Go to a tutor session once a week and skip lecture or altogether or a portion of lecture or whatever the case may be. Have someone record the lecture for you so that you can then learn the material that was, you know, talked about in the lecture. And ultimately, you're just, you know, partitioning your time differently because it's organized in a way that doesn't support you. But if you create like another way where maybe someone can record the class and you can watch that class later or hear that class later, and then in, during that time of that class, you can go to the tutoring session. Like you're just reorganizing what's already offered. Um, okay, speak with professors about issues. I think the whole customizing kind of fits with this as well. But be open with talking with your professor. Not all professors are um, kind of open to student issues. So understand that when a professor says something to you, don't allow a professor to tell you that you, you're not good in a particular major. Don't allow a professor to tell you that you're not smart enough. 
Don't allow a professor to tell you what to do with your life. However, when you're having issues or when you want to connect more with the professor to be more involved and a part of it, definitely utilize that um, kind of relationship with your professor to grow in a major. If you have decided that you're not capable of doing the major um, after putting in all the time and you're still falling behind, like you've put in the time, you've done the work when it came you know, due or like when they assign the work, you're doing it immediately, you're going to tutoring sessions, you're completing the homework sets, problem sets, papers, and you've done everything and you've gotten good grades in those things and then you still feel unfulfilled, that's when you change your major. You're capable of college, so don't let anyone tell you you're not. You just need the time and the resources and the support to be good in your chosen major. It's not as if you can't do it. But if you do find yourself in a situation where you're just um, not willing to do it or you feel like for some reason you're not capable of it, it's too difficult for you, that should be your decision to leave the major. And it should never be a professor's decision to um, uh, tell you that you are no not good for a major um but definitely um create bonds and relationship with your your professors because they're going to be the ones that are going to help you to get into graduate programs phd programs and the more you know about them and their their life and their research and the things that make them tick the better it is for you in the long run when it comes time um to advance your degree your your um kind of career they're going to be the ones that will support you work on improving weaknesses now i talked a lot about um doing problem doing your work doing your work immediately when it is given to you um, instead of waiting for that uh, start it immediately one thing that i would suggest is to definitely um, work on the things that you find hard don't wait i know it feels bad it feels horrible it's like the worst thing you could possibly do um getting good grades in school is like almost like losing weight it's very difficult getting up to go to the gym eating healthy instead of horrible quick you know comfort foods um cooking your food um, versus purchasing foods where you don't know the ingredients it's kind of like that you have to get up early to study for your classes you have to do assignments and problem sets even though you're tired of them and you would rather watch netflix or something or read a book you have to um not do things with friends and family because you know it will get in in a way of your schooling so when it comes to the things that are difficult for you, you need to not avoid them. You have to tackle them. I know I, it, this like kind of sounds backwards or like what I'm saying sounds like, like it's not connecting. But what I mean to say is that you want to be able to do the things that are very hard for you first and make them easy. Um, the things that you intuitively know or it seems straightforward for you and it's easy for you to do and when you do the problems you quickly do them those are the things you don't want to do as often as the ones that are difficult for you the ones you have to constantly review and you keep forgetting you have to do those over and over again until it's like the back of your hand that's what's going to give you the best marks because those are the kinds of questions that you're going to be asked not the easy ones so anyways, I hope this was very informative for you guys. Um, I want to do a lot more of these talking videos. Um, for me, I'm the type of person that likes to watch a lot of YouTube videos, but I don't have a lot of time for it. So I like to pop it in like my car, like I'm when I'm driving, and I'll just listen to it kind of like an audio tape or audio um, player or something like that. And I don't have to actually look at the person. I'm just listening to their voice. So uh, again, I hope this helped you. And I'll do more series about this, um, about school, succeeding in school, getting the best marks, and just succeeding in general. And just for anyone who's interested, I'm a computer science major. I'm actually working on um, I'm getting into a master's program. So I got my first degree in English, and this is going to be like my second, this is my second degree, but I'm not going to get the complete bachelor's. I'm just going to get the credits to get into a um master's program so if anyone has any questions about that feel free to ask me if you have questions in general don't just ask them um i'm here to share things with you guys so yeah thanks for listening to me